Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. Now, it may surprise you to know that the Government Guide for Residential Care Premises says that there should be no dependence on the Fire and Rescue Service to evacuate people and that the evacuation strategy must be dependent only on factors which are within your own control. In many care homes, the evacuation strategy is Progressive Horizontal Evacuation, or PHE, and that's the topic of today's video. Progressive horizontal evacuation is the principle and process of moving patients and staff from the area of fire origin, which is compromised from a fire safety point of view, through a fire resistant barrier such as a fire door, to a safe area on the same level. In the short term, this will protect the occupants from the effects of fire. The area of fire safety is known as a refuge and will offer protection for a minimum of 30 minutes. In many cases of fire, this time is sufficient for the fire and rescue service to attend and the fire to be extinguished. However, there will be some cases where 30 minutes isn't enough. In this situation, onwards assisted evacuation by the staff will be undertaken in order to move the patients to a further adjoining area away from the fire or to a lower floor of the building. If each refuge move offers a further 30 minutes of protection, this provides adequate time for non-ambulant and partially ambulant patients to be evacuated uh, vertically, uh, downstairs if you will, to a place of safety uh, if that's necessary. Now, it's important to be aware that all movement in a progressive horizontal evacuation should be away from the fire and down towards ground level and the final exit from the premises. With this in mind, patient access areas must not be located where evacuation would require a travel up a stairway to a final exit. So to summarize, PHE is typically carried out in stages. Stage one is the movement of those most at risk away from the fire, normally horizontally, to a place of relative safety, i.e. an unaffected fire compartment. And stage two is the continuing progressive horizontal evacuation of residents to a subsequent place of relative safety. This stage includes evacuation downstairs and could, where necessary, lead to a place of ultimate safety, e.g. outside the building. If you didn't know about PHE before this video, I hope you've now got a better understanding of it. If you are already a guru, I hope this video has been a helpful refresher. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, dive onto there and hit subscribe. Give us a like if you like this video. And I look forward to seeing you next week. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.